Hi, this is Srimal Education Sri Lanka. Today I'm going to explain about geometrical measure. This is about mainly uh, shape, space and measures. Uh, there are four main constructions I operate over here. Some are very popular, perpendicular bisector and perpendicular bisector from a given point and outside point. Okay, and the other one is the angular bisector. So we'll check out how to do these. These are the given diagrams. You need to use your compass and your ruler and pencil only. The following constructions can be undertaken using only your ruler and pair of compasses and your pencil. The perpendicular bisect of a line with the compasses set to a radius greater than half of the length of AB and centered on A, draw arcs above the below the line. With the compasses still set to the same radius and entered on B, draw arcs above and below the line to cut the first arcs. Join the points where the arcs cross P and Q. This line is perpendicular bisect of AB. The easiest way is you drop a line and mark its parameters. Keep your compass over here. Take some distance more than the half. Cut once and cut twice. Keep the needle over here cut again and again without changing its distance so when you drop a line now you have two points you can draw a straight line so which is dividedly equal and this is 90 degrees okay next one the perpendicular from a point to x on a straight line so they are giving the straight line they mark x and we need to drop a perpendicular from there with the compasses set to a radius of about 5 cm and centered x draw arcs to cut the line A and B. Now construct perpendicular bisect of the line segment. Now here is the point is given your perpendicular bisect should pass through here. So this is 90 and these two are equal. The perpendicular from point P to a straight line AB. So P is outside the given line so you need to draw a perpendicular through here. Okay with compasses set to a suitable radius and centered on P draw arcs to cut the line a and B with the compasses set to a radius greater than half of the length of AB and centered on A. Draw an arc on the composite side of the each line from P. With the compasses still set to the same radius and centered B, draw an arc to cut the arc drawn in the step 2. So what should you do is you keep your needle over here, cut once and twice. Take without changing the distance, you keep your needle over here and cut once and keep your needle over here and cut twice. So this point and this point you can join. This is equally dividing and these are perpendicular. The angle bisector which means like you are dividing the given angle to equal parts. The angle bisect of ABC with the compasses set to a radius about 5 cm and centered on B draw arcs to cut BA at L and BC at M with the compasses set to the same radius and centered on L. Okay, draw an arc between BA and BC with the compasses still set to the same radius and centered on M. Draw an arc to cut the arc between BA and BC at O, Q. Join BQ. This is the bisect of angle ABC. So I'll give you easiest ways. You keep your needle, mark arc and keep take any distance. You keep your needle over here, cut once. Keep your needle over here, cut twice. This point and this point you need to join together. So now think this angle is 60. This each part equals to 30. Uh, if you really like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share, like and comment on it. Just follow me on all the social media, messengers, uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Viber, Instagram, Line, Twitter, everywhere I'm there. We are Srimal Education Sri Lanka. Have a good day and thank you. I'm Srimal Pereira.